Okay. Hey guys, it's Phantom, and welcome or welcome back to the channel for another tips video. Uh, also, I told myself I was going to take the week off, but I decided to pre-record anyway. I mean, literally all of my videos are scheduled and they go up really early in the morning. So, yeah, I just decided to pre-record a few things today, um, out of nowhere. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's get on with this tips video. So, um, okay, this would, this would be an FAQ video, but this is just for one, this is just for one person. Um, so I'm making this a tips video. So, I got a comment about an hour ago that said, do you have an issue fix for when expansion packs fall under the 64-bit instead of the regular PC one? Okay, so this is a this is a really good question. Okay, I haven't had this problem. Uh, all of all of the apps that I use, um, I can't I can't show you without having to like blur some stuff. But, uh, I can't really show you without having to blur some things, but, uh, the computer that I run, the computer that I have, um, okay, I don't, I don't use a Mac anymore, by the way, I'm, I'm on a PC. Anyway, uh, the computer that I have runs 64-bit programs, um, so I think... Okay, I don't know how to, like, fix this, fix this, but if your computer runs 64-bit programs, um, then it should run fine. So, like, pretty much all of, pretty much all of my games run 64-bit, uh, like, you know, run the 64-bit version, and it can run 32, you know, and it can run 32-bit games as well. Um, so, one way to fix this, I don't know if this can help your, I don't know if this will help your problem, but, uh, I filmed a video talking about how to hide and unhide, um, expansion packs, or, like, not, not hide and unhide expansion packs, but, uh, what I meant to say is, uh, how to enable and disable expansion packs. So, maybe go back and watch that video and see if it'll help. Uh, I don't know, I don't know if it'll help you or not. I'm not sure if it'll help. But, basically this comment says, Do you have an issue fixed for when expansion packs fall under 64-bit instead of the regular PC one? Okay, so... PCs should should be able to run 64-bit uh 64-bit games, 64-bit apps, uh you know, like 64-bit software. Um I mean, my computer runs 64-bit perfectly fine. Uh, well, this one does. My PC does, but my Mac, not so, my Mac, not so much. Uh, I don't have enough space to, uh, launch The Sims 3 on my Mac. So, I don't play it on Mac anymore. I used to, but I don't. So, it says, issue fix for when expansion packs fall under 64-bit instead of the regular PC one. So, PCs should be able to do 32-bit games and 64-bit games. Now, if we go into... Hold on. If we go into Origin, I have to... Um, so, yeah. As you can see here... Hold on a minute. Yeah. As you can see here, it... Okay, I don't know if you play with the launcher or not. Like, use the launcher to launch your game. But you can go into expansions and stuff. Sorry, I was trying to find my cursor. 
so you can go into expansions and stuff, which is in the launcher. Um, and then you can make these active right here. I never keep, I never keep this active, but mine says it's installed and available. And then if you don't see your packs, just click install packs. I can, I can blur that out if I need to. And the Sims 4 is updating right now. So anyway, you can manage add-ons. So all of my packs, all of my packs are installed. Um, so all my packs are installed here. As you can see, I installed it via Origin instead of instead of the app. So if you're not seeing if you're not seeing your packs, um, if you're not seeing your packs, you can try to install them via Origin. Uh, and then also make sure that the packs that you want to play with are active. Um, but the thing is, your computer should be able to run 64-bit games and 32-bit games and apps. Like, uh, OBS Studio, for example. OBS Studio says that it is... You know what? You know what? I'll show you. I'll just blur out the stuff. I'll just use camera blur to, like, blur out what I need. Um... So yeah, it doesn't say what version of Sims 3 this is, but, uh, it doesn't say what version of Sims 3 that is, but, uh, an example would be, like, an app that it runs, so like, OBS Studio 64-bit, it runs the 64-bit version of OBS Studio, um, I will blur, I will blur this out, I will blur this out because it needs to get blurred. Um, so I will blur that out when I edit. So I hope that that helps if, if there's more in-depth videos to help, then you can go and, um, try to find videos that help if you don't find this video helpful, which is fine. Um, I always say to go find other resources if my videos don't help you. Um, like, I'm fine. <laughs> you know, it's fine. Um, if, if this video doesn't help, if this, if this video doesn't help, I also have a video how, of how to make the packs active and inactive, um, and again, you should, um, you should probably check your, uh, computer, uh, what is, what is it they tell you to check? Your computer properties or whatever, or whatever to see what, um, I, I can't remember what it's called, okay? I can't remember what it's called. I'm techie, but I'm not, like, super, 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 super techie. Um, oh, like, uh, PC specs or whatever, uh, or something. Uh, something to, uh, check to see if your computer runs 64-bit and 32-bit. software. I know mine can do that because I know mine can run 32-bit software because my computer can run like very old games very well. I mean, yeah, my computer can run very old games pretty well. The only game it can't run is The Sims 1. That's the only game that doesn't actually work on my system because I am missing a, um, 
disc. I'm missing a uh, service pack. I'm missing a service pack disc uh, for a certain version of, like, a certain really old version of Windows. But yeah, anyway, check to see if your computer can run, um, check to see if your computer can run both 64-bit and 32-bit apps, uh, and if it can, then you shouldn't be having an issue. And also make sure that your expansion packs are active. Sorry, I lost my cursor again. Um, I'm, I'm, I swear I'm always losing that thing. So yeah, uh, check to make sure that your computer runs 64-bit and 32-bit um, software because The Sims 3 that I have doesn't say what version it is. So if it doesn't say like 64-bit and metal, because for me 64-bit and metal is only available on Mac. Um, but yeah, um, if I go into like the like Windows tab there, um, it doesn't tell me what version of Sims 3 it is, so it's probably the 32, uh, so it's probably the 32-bit version that I have. Um, it could be 64, it could be 64-bit, but that was strictly for Mac. But if your packs, if you aren't seeing your packs, also make sure that your packs are active. Again, um, if this video doesn't help you, I'm sure there's more, I'm sure there's a more, um, helpful more descriptive video that can help you. But, um, in all honesty, I wish I did have, I wish I did have an answer to help, but the only answer I could probably give you is to check to see if your, um, system can run both 64-bit and 32-bit games. Um, that's really all I can, that's really all I can say. Um, I hope this video helped you. This video is pre-recorded, by the way. This video will go up, uh, probably, uh, probably Monday next week. Um, because all my videos for this week are already done, uh, and posted and scheduled. So yeah, anyway, I hope this video helped you. If it didn't, I'm sure there's, uh, forums. I'm sure there's EA help forums. Uh, I always tell people to go look at the EA help forums or, um, like, look for more descriptive videos than mine. Hopefully that helps. I don't know if it'll help or not. Uh, another thing is to not install anything on the EA app and just use Origin. Uh, that's, that's another thing that you could do. You could, uh, use Origin to install your packs and stuff. There's, there's another website you can get Origin from. Um, I had to re-download Origin, like, just in case I, you know, can't, uh, install something on the EA app, then I can have Origin and just, and it'll just transfer over to the EA app perfectly fine. Like, I haven't been having any problems, so hopefully those two solutions will help you. Um, again, you are more than welcome to go to a more descriptive video, or check out the EA Help forums, or tweet EA Help, or uh, go to the EA Help site and message them, or call them. Sometimes calling them doesn't always help, but I think it just depends on the situation. So hopefully that helped you. Um, I'm going to try and pre-record some more content today. I told myself I would, again, I would literally, I told myself I wouldn't record today, but I decided, I decided since everything is pre-recorded and scheduled, why not? Um, so yeah, hope this video helped. Have a great rest of your day. Um, and this video will go up probably Monday or Tuesday of next week, depending on when I get this 
edited and out. So yeah, have a great rest of your day guys and bye-bye.